Hello children, I hope you are doing really well today and I hope that you really do well always in your life. So with this positive note and the blessings, let me begin the next lesson of UESST, lesson number 2, grade 6, the high middle ages in Europe. So here we have the learning objectives to explore the Byzantine Empire and identify some of the key figures of the time. That means we need to identify some of the important rulers of the Byzantine Empire. Next thing is that we will discuss about the importance of preserving cultural heritage. There is an activity based on this objective. Next comes the UAE link. UAE has rich cultural heritage, which we all know, which we all are experiencing it, and constitutional monarchy. The cross-curricular link, it links with history, as the topic has a reference of Byzantine Empire, the rulers, how they ruled, etc. So here we come up with a warm-up exercise. In this warm-up exercise, you can see the different kinds of questions asked regarding the Middle Ages. So, how far you know, you can write it down, children. History is full of examples in which there was a rise and fall of the empires. Roman Empire is no exception to it. So, here we can see the fall of the Roman Empire. And it did not happen overnight, but there were various reasons which led to the downfall of this empire slowly and gradually. When the western part of the empire faced serious challenges, the empire split and it split into two which you can see over here. The western empire covering western Europe and North Africa which was led from Rome while the Eastern Empire was led from Byzantine. So these were the two capitals of this region. So Byzantine uh, covered the areas now known as Turkey, Greece and Eastern Europe. And after the fall of the Western Roman Empire, this Byzantine Empire became more powerful and it became the most powerful empire in Europe and the Near East for nearly 1000 years. So the capital city of this Byzantine Empire or the Eastern Empire was Constantinople. Now if you search for Constantinople in the world map, you won't find it. So the present day name of Constantinople has been changed to Istanbul which is in Turkey. It was named after Constantine. He was the Roman emperor to rule this region of Byzantine. So the region of Roman Empire ruled between 306 and 337 CE is known as the period of rule of Constantinople. While the Western Roman Empire was falling from attacks by foreign invaders, the Eastern or the Byzantine Empire was just beginning to rise in its rule. Now here we have the reference of Justinian I and he became the Emperor of Byzantine Empire in 527 CE. He worked with important political leaders to write a new legal system that could help the citizens be governed well. And this legal system was called as Justinian Code. So it was the set of rules and regulations which were to be followed by the citizens. He negotiated a peace with the rival empires worked hard to protect his borders from the attack by the neighboring tribes and fought to regain control over territories 
the empire which had lost earlier and he regained these regions of Italy and North Africa. Now this person that is Justinian was actually doing well but suddenly there was a plague and you understand the meaning of plague it is a very high fever and in that high fever in those days people couldn't survive as they did not have proper medication so attack from the foreign invaders was not only the crisis which he was facing but this region was swept with this epidemic and the epidemic was of plague now since it happened during the time when Justinian was the ruler, it was called as Plague of Justinian. So this disease which was carried by the rats onto the ships from Egypt caused so many deaths. It was 5000 deaths a day, which is not a small figure because in those days population was not to that extent the way it is today. So this period of time was from 541 to 542. So nearly a year, this region was wrapped up with such an epidemic which killed 5,000 people daily. You can have a look about the Empire of Justinian I. It is the red line, the outline which you can see was the region taken over by this person, Justinian I. So here we have the reasons for the weakening of the Byzantine Empire. So the real cause for the weakening were two main causes. One was fighting with the tribes, with the neighboring tribes, which always wanted to take over the region of Byzantine Empire. And second thing, as you know that there was an epidemic and the epidemic which swept round the region for almost one or two years. So that epidemic also caused great damage to the agriculture, to the trade and it kept on uh, recurring, kept on recurrence and that also uh, coupled with the rival empires attacking this continued to weaken the Byzantine Empire. So these are the two main factors. Now there comes the period of the Golden Age of Byzantine. And the credit goes to the emperors from Macedonia, which is a country north of Greece. So they brought some peace and stability to this region of Byzantine Empire. The empire which went through 250 years period of cultural, philosophical and artistic achievement and that 250 years is called as the golden age of Byzantine. How we have the Islamic period, the period from 8th century uh, to the 14th century was called as the golden age of Islamic civilization in that same manner this 9th century was called as the golden age of Byzantine. Uh, when Basil I, he became the emperor in 867 CE, he gave lot of promotion and flourishment to art and literature. This movement is similar to that movement which we had during the golden age of Islamic culture. Now during this time, this Byzantine Empire gained control over all those territories which they had lost at one time. Over the next two centuries, in those 200 years, frequent war tested. It was the testing time for the Byzantines. However, when Basil II, he became the emperor in 976 CE, he focused on defeating his enemies. So after many hard fought battles, he finally defeated the Bulgarians at the Battle of Clarion 
in 1014 CE and annexed Bulgaria into this Byzantine Empire. So he incorporated the region of Bulgaria in the region of Byzantine Empire. From there, he started expanding to Georgia, Armenia. Georgia present day is just the neighboring country of Russia, Armenia, annexing those territories in 1022 CE. These victories helped establish the Byzantine Empire as the largest and the most powerful in Europe. So here you can see the good work done by Basil II in making the Byzantine Empire the most powerful empire in Europe. Now here we have the reference of Justinian I and he became the emperor of Byzantine Empire in 527 CE. He worked with him. Now these are all the textual questions which I have put a tick. So these are the right answers for it. This is activity one. You can go through this activity two children in which you can see the timeline and how we have to match it. So 527 CE is the fourth one. Justinian I becomes emperor of Byzantine. 541 CE is the third one. The plague of Justinian begins. So in this manner, children, you can just go through. I have done this uh, exercise for you. Next is this. You have to write down the number. So the pointed arc bridge is the third one gave a structure great strength and stability. So in this manner, please go through this slide and see the answers. This is activity for children. They have given us four pictures. Along with those four pictures, they have given us the description and uses. So we have to fill in the description and uses. I have done each for you. You can check the answers. This is the first picture. Here comes the second picture with the description and uses. Please go through it. Then comes the activity for continuation of it. That is picture number three with the description and then picture number four description and uses. Please go through. Here we have activity 5 wherein they have asked us an application based question. Why do you think heritage museums are important and what do we learn from them? So the importance and learning has been put up over here in this slide children. You can just go through, read it. Okay children, so here we come to the end of the lesson. I hope you really liked it. I hope the lesson was useful for you and helping you in understanding the lesson well. So children, if you really liked my lesson, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for my latest updates. So thank you so much children. Remain safe. God bless you.